Hello Taurus. Welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. I'm here today to do your reading for August 2021. This is a love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. We're going to start off with a couple of messages from the Tea Leaf deck. That's too many. Um, all right, I'm just going to take them. I was going to read them, but we'll just take them. They come out. Oh, come on, guys. That's way too many cards. Way too many angels. I don't want that many messages. One more for Taurus. One more message for Taurus. Thank you. Okay. Let's see what we got for you, Taurus. All of these tea leaf cards. My goodness. All right. A marriage will take place, either romantic or in business. All right. Celebration, fun, and enjoyment. Okay. Looks like somebody might be going to a wedding here. <laughs> Period of prosperity and an abundance. Very nice, Taurus. Uh-oh. Now we have a stubborn, aggressive person. Okay. And fear, worries, and tense situations. All right. So, there could be some type of relationship here that you're worried about getting into. You might even be the stubborn person, Taurus. <laughs> I have to tell you that Taurus uh, can be, you're a fixed sign. So, you, you know, you don't like things to change. You like things to stay the way they are. And that's not going to resonate with every Taurus out there. It's really, for those of you who are like have a lot of Taurus in your chart. So let's see. Angels, show me messages for Taurus, please. It looks like you're afraid of getting into something. Maybe because of the money? All right. I like to just keep the tea leaves on the side and then we'll discuss them as we go through the reading. I just heard the word announcement. Announcement. All right. Show me Taurus, please. What's the announcement about? It's an interesting one. Okay. Page of Pentacles reversed. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. That can indicate a lot of things. Usually this is my card of something that needs more planning. Like here, your, your major plan, you're ready to move forward, you've done all your research, you've learned what you needed to learn, or you're, you're in the process of learning it. But here, this is something that it is not ready to be manifested. That, that's how I'm going to put it so far. Let's see. In your challenge position, we have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. So something is confusing, something is not ready, or you're not sure. This can also indicate the fact that you're not speaking to someone, but let's see. The base of the reading, we have the Two of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy, Balancing, Weighing, Comparing Your Options. This is also my Chaos card in this particular deck. The water is very rocky. The boat's falling over. This guy's trying to keep his balance here on this rock. So you may have a lot going on in your life right now and having trouble keeping it in balance. In your past, you have the three of pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy again. This is my delays in the commencement of business. Also, someone who's like a one-sided relationship, people who aren't working together well. Crowning the reading, we have the full card in reverse, Aries energy. That is also a delay. It's almost like there's something more that needs to be done here before you can move on. The full card in reverse also does signify fear. Someone who is not starting something because they're hesitant about the situation. All right, let's see. Four of Swords. I'm waiting. I'm sleeping on it. I'm still in the process of healing, possibly. But, oh, this isn't, this isn't that deck. This is Libra Energy. Taking a time out, recharging my batteries. I need some rest after all of this chaos. Okay. 
Your role or attitude is the Six of Pentacles, Taurus Energy. Okay, so that's giving equally. This is also my charity card. All right, in the role or attitude of others, we have the Five of Wands. Working together, negotiations, getting along, compromising, and free from drama. <laughs> the Justice card in your hopes or fears. Okay interesting more libra energy but that is getting justice when usually when the justice card comes up in your hopes it's almost like a revenge type of thing to me you're hoping for justice okay final outcome three of swords reversed well, could be an apology here heart to heart conversation Someone's ready to talk, someone's ready to compromise, someone's ready to start giving equally. If you weren't, like if this person wasn't cooperating here in the past, I feel like you're not speaking to someone here. Four of Cups on the bottom of the deck, Cancer Energy. I'm sad, I'm bored, and I want something more. King of Swords reversed interesting aquarius libra gemini for those of you who watch my channel regularly you know that that is probably my least favorite card in the deck all right it doesn't it doesn't always mean a narcissist but it could be some confusion here or someone who's resistant to change stubborn someone who won't change their mind I feel like you're waiting for an apology from someone. Four of Swords can signify a relationship that is on break. Something happened over here where this person wasn't... Some of you may have even quit a job here. There's negotiations here. Someone's trying to offer you something. And it's kind of like you're looking at it. But you're like, mm, I don't know if I want that cup or if I just want to go back to reading my book almost. Because you've dealt with this person in the past. Now, the King of Swords and Narcissist is usually Page of Wands is reversed. You're not speaking to someone very clearly. Something, this may even be a manager. I know this is a love reading, but I do have this. A marriage will take place either in romantic, either romantic or business. If you're waiting for some type of apology, you're going to get it. There's going to be some type of heart to heart conversation here, but this person is very difficult to get along with. And that's why you're looking at the cup because you're like, well, they're coming back, they're pouring it on thick, they're pouring their heart out, they're apologizing, but I still don't know if I want to be with you, almost. But this says this, it, this contract, this contract that was broken over here is going to take place over here. But you're fearing this commitment, this marriage, this contract, this, this could be a soul contract. But this stubborn, aggressive person, this is this King of Swords in reverse. You could be dealing with an Aries with the Fool here. But this is a person who just won't change. This person may have lied or not told the truth in some way. But I feel like you cut somebody, you cut off communication here. Even with the Page of Wands in reverse. And it doesn't look like you're interested in talking to this person. But now that they've come back, I feel like that's where the fear and the worry comes in. You're, you're just not so sure that you want this person back in your life. Cause, but it looks like they want to compromise. They want to work this out. They want to negotiate. They want to talk. And the celebration, fun, and enjoyment, obviously. And then your period of prosperity and abundance looks like it's over here. It looks like... This person is, maybe this person owes you money and they're going to pay you back because somebody's giving you money or helping you in some way. I'm just not so sure. This There's a huge delay here. This is delay, 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 delay. And waiting. 
Like, it's almost like you can't move forward until this is all worked out, talked about, or this decision is made. But you're hoping for somebody to do the right thing here. And I kind of just get the feeling that this person is not going to change. You may be dealing with a Leo as well, because Leo is also a fixed stubborn sign and that's in the roller attitude of the other person let's get you a couple of romance angels and see if we could get a little bit more information about what is going on here show me additional messages for taurus for august 2021 show me taurus please i'm gonna take that one worth waiting for you were waiting it's coming it's coming taurus divine timing it's time for something to happen all right show me more usually when i get that you're gonna get this justice you're gonna it's almost like this person needs you in some way and they're i feel like they're being forced to apologize if that makes sense show me attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully and one more aries did have that card show me one more for taurus please show me one more for taurus all right we'll take this one honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together Okay, so what month is this? This is <laughs> August. There's not really any holidays in August, but it could be somebody's birthday. It could be something about... This is also my card of moving into the calmer waters. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. You're recapturing the romance with someone here from your past that you've been patiently waiting for, possibly healing from. This is a healing card. And the Three of Swords in reverse can signify a reconciliation. But I still don't feel like this person has changed. It's almost like they're coming back and they're saying what they got to say. But if you want to be with them, you're just going to have to accept them the way that they are. Show me more for Taurus, please. Very strong Libra energy. Show me more for Taurus. Additional messages for Taurus. Taurus. This one? Not today. Not dealing hurt, avoiding a call, conversation, person, boundaries, still angry. That's, you know, this king of swords over here, I have a feeling like this is a little bit of you, not the narcissist side of it, but the confusion. Because you're confused as to whether to reject someone. And you're still healing because the four of swords is in the upright position. You see how there's all ones, twos, threes, fours, even a zero. There's a five and a six over here, which means we're starting to get over that hump. But this is something that's at the very beginning of a chapter. And this chapter is not closed. Show me more for Taurus. You're the one that doesn't want to hear from this person. Girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment and having fun. So you're kind of enjoying life. It's almost like you're saying, don't come back here. Don't bring this drama back into my life. I'm fine. Uh, I've moved on. I, I just left and what's on the bottom? Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. This could be a friend. I feel like it's definitely an air sign. Libra, Libra, Libra is coming in really strong here. But Libra is also a sign, you know, the Libra energy is someone who has trouble making a decision. They, they're they confused about what they should do, so they ask for others' advice. And with the King of Swords in reverse, I would just 
suggest that you wouldn't take advice from other people, I would think I would like to tell you to go with your gut. How do you feel? Do you want to be with this person for the rest of your life? This could indicate taking something to the next level, um, marriage, moving in together, buying a home. Uh, but there's something that you're, you're not healed from. But it's almost like in the same way. Well, see, you're having fun. You're having fun and you're just like enjoying your life in some way and you you're just not so sure that you want to bring this person back in because obviously they started some type of drama over here because this five of surge is in reverse they want to get over that they want to move into calmer waters with you they want to apologize they want to talk about what happened and you're <laughs> hesitant Let's see. Let's get some more information for Taurus, please. More information for Taurus. Um, anyway, I, I wanted to say in the United States, if you're watching, um, uh, the next holiday would be Labor Day, which is in early September. So... That could be a signification for you. That's Virgo season. I don't have any Virgo energy here. But Libra would be the end of September. What do we got? Wish, hope, praying, yearning. This could be this person, though. They're hoping that you're going to say yes. They're hoping that you're... Look at your... You're so hesitant here. You're scared. You're afraid. That's what's on your mind. You're saying something's too risky. Um, this person may be childish or... I even hear rude. They're saying rude. <laughs> I, don't get, I hear the strangest words sometimes. Ugh. Receipts, proof, show me. Hmm. There it is. There it is. On the verge, about to reveal, confess. All right, well, somebody's got something to say, Taurus. And it's going to be up to you at Four of Cups as your overall energy. I don't, I don't know. It's rejection. I feel like you're not so happy to hear from this person. And then you're saying, give me some type of proof. The Page of Pentacles in reverse is... is there's not enough proof here. You want somebody to prove something to you. Like prove to me that you've changed or prove to me that you're going to be a better person. Um, what's under there? There's that agreement, compromise, settlement. Whatever this is, Taurus, I feel like this is going to happen. I know that there's like rejection here and confusion, you know, something that this person did. You may, maybe you will wait until Libra season to heal this relationship with this person. Like you might say, not today, I still need to do a little bit more healing, but I'll talk to you soon. And then that could happen in you know end of September early October maybe there's ver something very significant about that here all right show me additional message or show me the advice what's the advice for Taurus what action should they take please your angels are asking you to make an important decision that you've been putting off it's likely you know what choice you should make but you're procrastinating so you don't upset someone ask heaven for guidance and then make the choice that totally that celebrates who you truly are all right so maybe this person partied too much with this this uh, beer mug over here and then the full card in reverse could be someone who's foolish acts uh, behaves what's that there's a tea leaf card for that someone is behaving stupidly 
<laughs> that's what's on your mind. Like you're that's what you're thinking about. They're offering you this cup and you're like, well, you know, I remember what happened over here. I haven't forgotten. I'm not dealing with this right now. I'm hurt. Show me more for Taurus, please. Show me more for Taurus. All right. There's four of cups again. There are wonderful people who wish to help you. That is very, very significant. That's in your role or attitude. Opportunities are being offered. What did I say? But you're not noticing or trusting the gifts that heaven is bestowing. You don't trust someone. Look around. Daydreaming or going within is a healthy way to get clarity as long as you act upon your dreams and ace of pentacles this tarot brings wonderful news a windfall of resources comes your way to help you with your plans and here's your plans here the, these resources may involve money advice or assistance in getting things done it's a good time to start a new venture change careers or even go into business for yourself there may be important contracts to sign there's a contract here there's something about paperwork the Ace of Swords is paperwork. Three of Pentacles is paperwork. The Justice card can also signify legal documents. And then these, this receipt here. I, I'm not really sure exactly what this is. But there's something. You're signing something. Or, and, and over here is also a, uh, a marriage will take place in romantic or business. There's some kind of contract here. Okay, what's on the bottom of the deck? I have, a, um, I'm a Taurus rising, so I'm very curious about your reading. Five of Pentacles. There are times when everyone needs a helping hand. Your angels want you to know that you needn't go through these current challenges alone. Accept the help of those around you again. Uh, the situation you're experiencing is temporary. This may not be the right time to become self-employed. Be patient. All right. So somebody is trying to give, I feel like somebody's trying to give you money or it's like you don't want to accept charity or you don't want to accept help, but they're telling you to accept it. And I keep seeing this. I keep looking at this and you're looking at it. Now, keep in mind that this could be totally about the other person. It doesn't have to be you. So um, I have no idea what this is, but maybe it's not for me. Readings go to those who need them. <laughs> or maybe I will find out what it is in August. <laughs> Show me Taurus, please. The final message for Taurus. These cards are pretty good. And I am going to read this from the book. This is the Quantum, quantum Oracle. Um, maybe we'll get a little more information about this here. There's some type of decision that you need to make. And you've been putting it off. You're putting someone off. You're telling them, like, this decision. You're saying, I, I need to sleep on it. I need to wait. I'm not ready to give my decision yet. Discovery reversed. All right, what's this? Status quo is reversed. So that means things are changing. There's something here that you don't want to change. Let's read this from the book. I like reading these from the book, too. Cycle, status quo. I think cycle's the last one. Cycle, two. All right. Reversed. Status quo reversed is a time of radical, radical discontinuity. Uity. There is great upheaval taking place, potentially sooner than you may think. <laughs> you got Uranus in your sign, so yeah. It may be of your choosing, like leaving a relationship or a job, or it may be a big change, not of your own making, such as the closing of a business that employs you. Either way, it's time for you to get clear in your thinking and consider the steps you need to take to redirect your destiny. Even if the changing situation seems outside of your control, never lose sight of the fact that you own the power of your thoughts. In fact, this can be precisely the opportunity you need to move to your desired destiny. 
The adjustment may be severe, but you will know less than a phoenix rising out of the flames of disruption. So take heart, look at the options that empower you, and let yourself move forward with courage and inner peace. Know that this upheaval will push you towards a happier and more harmonious status quo to come. So in this particular card, when the status quo is upright, that means that everything, see how these, these are uh, a mirrored image of each other. Everything is staying the same. Um, when it's reversed, it means that things are about to change suddenly. So um, Taurus, you, that's why I said you have, I, I don't have Uranus here. The full card can be Uranus, which would be an unexpected change. Um, but I usually, I usually say that the tower is uh, Uranus. But anyway, all right. Well, I do hope that you got something out of this reading today. This appears to be a little bit more business than it does uh, love. I am sorry about that, but Taurus and Capricorn, man, I just can't. <laughs> Every time I try, all I get from you guys is work. So what's what's under here? This is peeking out. Sadness, missing you, missing you, thinking about you, yearning again, unsure of future. Somebody misses you. You're separated from this person and they want you back. All right. Well, it looks like they're coming. I am going to leave that there, Taurus. Good luck with your situation. I do hope I was able to help someone with this message today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon.